Hello, this is Rich, and in this task, you're going to learn the correlation between the C++ side of entities and the editor Lua side of entities. Let's get started. Now, we added a snow entity into the level, so let's go to the cry game and find the snow entity C++ counterpart. So let's expand and let's look around and we see the game files. Let's open that up. And immediately we see the environment. Let's open that up and snow. Okay, the dot h and dot cpp. So let's open up the dot h. Have a look. Okay, so we see the class c snow because all entities need to be prefixed with the capital C. And we can see that the snow entity is a game object extension which is basically just another name for an entity for now. We'll learn more about game objects and sections later. So we can see that it derives from an iGame object extension. We can see that it has a whole bunch of virtual overrides from iGame object extension. Oh, and we can see all the properties of the snow. Remember, it had the snow amount, the frost amount, the surface freezing. Remember, the snowflake size and count, the brightness, the gravity, the turbulence. These are all the C++ variables. Pretty interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the CPP file. And we can look at the implementation real quick. We have a bunch of init functions, some reloading, and all that. Let's just take a look at the update function here. This gets called automatically by the system of the snow entity. And here you can see something very interesting. What happens is, on the update, the snow entity tells the 3D engine to set some snow parameters and some snow surface parameters. And you can see here that it's passed the variables that we change in the roll-up bar. The frost amount, the snow amount, the radius, freezing, the brightness. So every frame, it basically just tells the 3D engine to update its snow parameters to mimic what's in the editor. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is that in order to get your entity into the editor roll-up bar so that you can drag and drop, you need to register to the game object system. And we do that by scrolling down the Solution Explorer, finding GameFactory.cpp. We would simply add our include file for our entity, scroll down into the init game factory, and here is where all the different entities are registered. And they will show up into the CryEngine roll-up bar. So let's scroll down and, ooh, look what we see here. We see the tornado, the shake, the rain, oh, and the snow. So pretty much you just use the register game object macro. And since our entity is a game object extension, we use the P framework as the first parameter, the game framework. The name of our entity minus the C, as you can see, as well as the path to the Lua script. Now, if you don't want any Lua file associated with your entity, then you would just pass an empty string. But as you can see here, we do have the script entities environment in snow.lua. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much, and I hope you understand the correlation between the C++ side and the editor and Lua side.